YouTube is in the process of redesigning their entire website right now. And as part of this update, they're putting a really strong emphasis on playlists. In fact, if you look at the image on the screen right now, you can see that YouTube is putting a direct link to drive people into playlists right underneath the video that they're watching. And the best part about this specific update is somebody doesn't have to enter through a playlist in order to see that link. So they can just click on the video from a homepage and then they can see that link and that will drive them into the playlist, which is awesome. Plus, there's two additional things that they've done with the playlist as well. One is they've moved playlists into the actual content area of YouTube, and they've made it easier to find the area to create a playlist by adding it to the same place where you click on to upload a video when you're on a computer. And even more updates are on the way. So I want to make sure that you know how to set up playlists. I want to make sure that you know how to use all of the features inside of playlists. And I want to let you know why playlists are so important. And hey, if this is your first time here, I'd like to welcome you to the TubeSpanner channel where we help you get more views, subscribers, and revenue from the content you're already making. So if you're a content creator, make sure you subscribe. So let's start with why playlists are important. So when it comes to playlists, the reason that it's so important to make sure that you are putting your videos into playlists is one, playlists do show up in random places on YouTube. So when you publish your video, that's one chance to get in front of viewers. But when you publish a playlist that that video is in, then that's a whole other chance to get your content in front of viewers. They do show up mostly in YouTube search, but they also do show up in other places on YouTube as well. But the big one with playlists is when somebody comes into one of your YouTube videos and they enjoy that video, your playlist, especially when YouTube is prioritizing it, makes it easier for them to watch more of the content that's like the video that they just watched or that's related to the video in some way that they just watched. So you get to take that one view and turn it into multiple views as long as you can lead viewers down the right path. And of course, as long as you're making content they enjoy, which I'm sure you are. So when it comes to playlists, they are extremely important and it's a great way to multiply views, which will help you increase your view counts and it'll help you get more watch time, especially for those of you that are trying to quickly get into the YouTube Partner Program. So using playlists is a win all the way around for you, for your viewers, and for everything that's gonna happen to you on YouTube. With that said, let's hop on the computer and I'm gonna show you how to make playlists and I'm gonna show you all of the different features within playlists that you need to know about. Okay, so here we are on the computer. In order to get to your playlist area, what you wanna do is you wanna log into your YouTube studio and then you wanna click on the content tab. Once you click on the content tab, playlist is going to be over on the far right hand side. You can click on that and that's going to show you the playlist that you currently have. Now, if you don't have any playlists at all, there's a couple of different places that you can actually create a new playlist. The very first one is if you go up to the very top right hand side of the screen and you hit create, if you come to the bottom of that list, you're gonna see the option there to create a new playlist. The next place is on the video details page of your video. Now this is the page where you write your title, you add your description, add your thumbnail and all of that. If you go down right underneath the area where you add your thumbnail, you're going to see a section here that says playlists. Now here, if you click the drop down, you're going to see an option down here to click new playlist as well. So either one of those methods will get you into the process of creating a new playlist. So for this example, I'm going to click on create and I'm going to click new playlist. Now, when you create a new playlist, when it comes to the title that you are choosing for your playlist, you wanna make sure that you are thinking of something compelling. You do not wanna just use this as something categorical. So as an example, instead of making a title that says something like recipes, if you're a food channel, it's much better to be more descriptive and compelling, like easy to make recipes in under 10 minutes. And the reason for this, again, is because people are going to be clicking on this from your channel page if you choose to add your playlist as a section, or they can click on this from your playlist page, or they'll see it underneath one of the videos that they're already watching. So the win with this, when you're making your playlist titles in this way, is this helps communicate to the viewer that everything within this playlist is recipes that they can make in under 10 minutes instead of just recipes that doesn't give them any additional context. Now, the next thing I wanna bring your attention to is the visibility. So just like the videos that you upload to YouTube, playlists also have a visibility option. So you can see here that this one is set to public, which means that anybody's gonna be able to see it. But if you click into this, you can have a private playlist where it's just a playlist of videos that you're collecting from anywhere on YouTube, or maybe just videos that you're 
you're keeping track of personally, or you can also set it to unlisted where the only way that people can find those is if you share a link to that playlist. In most cases, you're going to be setting them to public because of course you want these to publicly display at least the ones you're gonna be driving traffic into. Once you have your playlist title set up, then you just hit create. Now, once your playlist is created, it's going to take you to a page like this, but there's not gonna be any information here. So you can see here how it's showing a thumbnail and it's also showing me the other videos that I have in this playlist. When you first set it up, it's not going to look like this, but you are going to be able to add videos by coming to this three dot menu and clicking on the add videos option. When you click on this, it's going to give you the option to search videos on YouTube. It's gonna give you the option to put in a direct URL or web address of a video, or the more likely thing that you're going to do or want to do is click on your YouTube videos and select videos from a list of your video content. Now, just so you know, when you start clicking on the videos, it's going to highlight them in blue. And as you click on videos and the ones that you are choosing to put into that playlist, it's going to highlight those specific videos to let you know that you've selected them. And then once you have the right ones selected that you wanna add, you just click on add videos. Once you do that, then your playlist page is going to look something like this for that particular playlist. So let's get into the actual settings and fun things that you can do with playlists. The very first is you do have the option to manually order videos. In order to do this, you just grab the little menu over here on the left-hand side, and you can just slide it around to move these into any order that you choose. Next, with every playlist, in addition to the title that you can put in here, and you can edit this, by the way, if you want to right here on this page as well, but you also have a description. Now, a lot of content creators don't use this because they don't even know it exists, but this description will actually show up on your channel page and in other places on YouTube when people are looking at the playlist. So for example, if somebody does click into your playlist and they land on this page, they also see your video description here. So make sure that you do fill out a short description for your playlist because this does help people have additional context into what it is they can expect to get from it. Next, if you click on this three dot menu again, there's also some other really cool options. So the very first one that I wanna bring your attention to is this collaborate option here. If you click on this, you're going to see this box pop up. And when this box pops up, what this is doing is this is the settings for letting other people add videos to your playlist. Now, a great example of this is let's say that you have a collaboration that you do with one of your friends. Then in that case, if you both have access to this playlist, then as you create additional videos in that series, if you do a series collaboration, then they can automatically add other videos that are relevant to that series by you sending them the link here. And of course, for that, you need to make sure that you have this option checked here so that collaborators can add videos to this playlist. And then you can choose if you want to allow new collaborators or not, which means multiple people will be able to add videos to this playlist. Since this playlist will show up in the dropdown on their videos details page, you can also use this if you manage multiple channels around the same topic to where you can more easily add videos into playlists across multiple channels that you have. And in order to do that, you just copy this link right here and then you send it to anybody that you are wanting to collaborate with. When it comes to playlists, they also have an efficiency option in here. It's add all to. Now, when you click on this, it's going to bring up this additional box here. And one of the things that you can do in here is if you wanna add all of these videos to a specific playlist, then of course you can just say, hey, I'm gonna add all of these to tutorials. And then now all of the videos here are also part of tutorials. Now, if we go back to that three dot menu and we go down to playlist settings, this is really important information here. So the very first thing is they have the option here to allow embedding. What this means is that if somebody wants to embed this playlist on their website, you wanna embed this playlist on your website, you need to have this option enabled. And you wanna enable this because it allows people to be able to essentially share your videos, which of course is a win for you. If you are going to be manually sorting your playlist, like I showed you before, when you're moving them around and manually sorting them, then you wanna make sure you have the option to add new videos to the top of playlists turned off. However, if you want to have the playlist auto update, then of course you wanna make sure that you do have the new videos to the top of the playlist turned on. 
And this option right here, the set as official series for this playlist, this option right here is gold. And the reason for that is because if you have this turned on, then you are telling YouTube that all of the other videos in the playlist are directly related to each other in some way. And because of that, YouTube is more likely to recommend them next to each other, which is a win. Now, when it comes to this option, you might be thinking, what's the difference between a series playlist and a regular playlist? The difference is any video on YouTube can be in any playlist, but any video on YouTube can only be in one series playlist. So because of that, when you set this up, you want to make sure that you are thinking about, you know, just big picture, how it is that you're going to be leading people around your channel so that you can make sure that you are setting up the right series playlists for the right content. Another setting you have that is pretty hidden is you can see that I have a very specific thumbnail right here that's showing up for this setting. Now, I could pick any thumbnail that I have here in this playlist by simply coming over to this three dot menu over here and then going down to the bottom and checking the option or selecting the option to set as a playlist thumbnail. And of course, you can also use these to manually sort your playlist as well if you choose to. And of course, as you can see from the rest of the menu, you can also use this to remove videos from this playlist as well. Now look, if you're just getting started and you're trying to figure out how to set up everything properly and you wanna make sure that you don't have anything messed up when it comes to everything being set up right in your YouTube channel, click into this playlist right here. We made an entire series to help you make sure that you have everything set up right. Go ahead and click into that now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.